Overkill and the crew has created some wild and crazy projects, and I don't normally share the details of how we bring those things to fruition. There's some tools that we've used over the years that has really helped us organize and come up with not only the crazy projects we do create, like PCs and fish tanks, PCs and Teslas, like command battle stations. We've created all kinds of wild setups, and those take planning, but also then you look at the social and the content that we have to create around the planning, and it is a huge undertaking. But I'm gonna show you one of the secrets of how we come up with those things. And right over here, as you can see, these whiteboards, this is not the secret, but this is kind of what it is. They're called mind maps. And I love them because I use them to preliminarily create this base idea and then build that into a usable step-by-step -step instruction that we can have success off of. So let me show you the newest setup and what I'm excited about. Digitally, we use mind maps, and I've made mind maps like the one you see up here for many, many years. All right, so the new software I've been using is eDrawMind by Wondershare, and I'm super excited to use this for its AI features. Let's try it out. Up on the screen, you'll see this mind mapping software that I've been using, but I wanna show you something new that gets me super excited because right now, in order to do this, I have to literally click buttons, move them around, and actually build each bubble in each typing by itself. No good, takes a lot of time. Even the little arrows take time. This is a 30,000 foot view of the business of Overkill and how we make money here. Wow, secret of information, right? Something he's working on with me. We're working on this mind map. And this has taken me a while to build this. And then right here we have single media activations. Looks super tiny now, but let's enlarge it. You can go from the top. And what this is, is when we get an email, it goes through a step-by-step -step process that he has to follow in order to get this job done, along with the canned responses and all the different details of how to work through a client that comes in via email. Super cool, right? Well let's go to the new way that I'm so excited about because this is a huge time saver. And for you people who are not trying to organize businesses or process flows, let's just talk about organizing your everyday life. So what is something that you would like to organize? Let's just say you wanna figure out a daily routine. Well, how about we use AI to create a daily routine? So we'll go to create, we'll click local mind map, and it right away comes up with this little mind map here. But you don't have to hand do this. You can if you want to. You can if you wanna move stuff around, but you don't have to. So what I'm gonna do, a little trick right here, AI mind map generation. I can type whatever I want here. I can be vague, I can be detailed. I'm gonna be vague though. Okay. I'm gonna be vague. Yeah. I'm gonna put in help. Actually, you know what? Uh, day, I'm just gonna type in daily routine for um, low anxiety because I'm a high driven fast person and I need to lower my anxiety down. So here we go. Daily routine for low anxiety. Right now, AI is actually building us a plan for the morning and the daytime, probably afternoon and evening routine that is comprehensive, telling us what we really need to, wow. need to do to lower our anxiety. Now, seeing a list like that may give you anxiety. <laughs> it <just keeps> going. <laughs> but it does, it keeps all these things in a day. But really these are small little micro interactions that we just naturally can do. And it's a start to get us in that path. But let's look at something else. To all you techies and gamers out there, let's create another mind map. Let's, let's just type in, um, uh, uh, how to be a YouTuber. Uh, it's all right. I'm just going to leave it because AI smart. is smart. How to be a YouTuber. Find your niche. Look at this. Look at this. Great start right here. Creating compelling content, building a strong audience. All the subcategories are beautiful. Promoting your channel, engaging with your audience, all the way down to monetization. Now, let's do something fun here. I want to show you a little bit more detail. As you're building this mind map, and this has got you in that 
thought process of how to be a YouTuber. You wanna dig in a little bit further, right? So let's say we want to dig down, utilize SEO strategies to increase visibility. Say I wanna dig down into that because that intrigues me and maybe that's some area that I wanna focus on now. I can actually click in here, okay, one time, click generate and then say, let's go generate subtopics. So let's get it to dial down even more. How to choose That's the right crazy. niche, tips for creating high quality engaging content, right? So it goes down into all these different subcategories related to that one particular thing. So I have a huge project coming up. We yeah. started this saying that, man, we built crazy gaming PCs and we don't build gaming PCs for the general public anymore. Mm -hmm. We don't sell them to people, but we work with big companies and build gaming setups and wild viral videos with those gaming setups for companies and brands, but also, now we have another client. We actually can't mention who or what the client is. There's a little secrecy here, but it is the biggest one project yeah. we've ever worked on. So I mean, sweet. oh my gosh, just the sheer thought of this project build alone, like gives me anxiety, yeah. right? Yeah, I, I, I have to organize it, right? Yeah. So, so have that flow chart. yes, and preliminarily organizing this project, that's important to me to get on track for this project, not just for the build conceptually and all the hardware and tech that has to go in it, all the moving pieces and people involved in the projects. We have yeah. engineers, mechanical, electrical, right? Yeah. We have all this, all these outliers and things we need to make sure we meticulously cover. But then on top of it, we have to layer in social concepts, making videos about it, right? So it's just, it's so many things that starting with a mind map is beautiful. Now, for that, this is the beautiful thing. There's file uploads. So I have, a, I have a file of text that is the project. I can go click this text file called project that I made, upload it, and it will break down my project for me. I click start parsing, yep. You click start parsing, it'll just read my project. It's just bulleted items in a text file, and boom, here it goes. We have the entire project, wow, right? No Broken down hardware, levels and phases, right? Everything we need to do for this project. That's wild. Yep. And then we'll go ahead and create another one with eDraw Mind right here. Well, we're going to upload a file of the social concepts and ideas. So, social ideas right here. Now, for the social ideas, we started with the baseline of our own ideas, we fed those to AI, and we also created a bunch of other subcategories. So we have content types, right? Behind the scenes, featured highlights, educational content, components and spotlights, all the different things. And as you can see, this is a very powerful software, and this new project is gonna be absolutely insane. Just to give you a little bit of detail, the detail I can give you, is this is going to be a three monitor setup and in the center, it's gonna have a $20,000 3D screen. Yes, it's called the looking glass. Why is it called the looking glass? Because you can look into it look left, look right, and without glasses, you see a 3D image. It has 8K, it has insane amounts of directional pixels in its technology, and it makes it to where you can see those shapes as if they really exist. So we're gonna build one of the world's first massive, ultra crazy with four 5090s in this thing and two separate PCs with a $10,000 thread ripper in it, okay? Yes, it is overkill. It's a 3D gaming setup, but it's not just built in a normal computer. We're building it in a fully engineered, never been done before style of enclosure because let's just say the application of this setup isn't your standard everyday application. Yeah, we can say that. Yes, it's a 3D gaming setup. Yeah. Right, blinky blank, quote, quote. You can run Doom on it. That's our goal. Yeah. We want to run 3D Doom on this thing. And there's not very many games ported over to 3D, right. right? But I saw that somebody did take Doom and port it over to 3D for like a miniature looking glass. You make a small one, but we're getting the 32 inch model, the $20,000 model. 
My hope is to talk to some developers and some people to have some other games ported over. We'll, we'll see if we're able to make it happen. That's the hope. But even if it's just Doom, it would be super cool. This will be the biggest and the most capable system on the internet by most likely February of next year. It is a project that is meticulously being worked. So if you guys are interested in this software, please check it out below. Check it out in the link in the bio. Go look up eDrawMind by Wondershare. You won't be disappointed. It's literally impossible to show you all the features in one video. So I just showed you the features I'm interested in. Go check it out.